1951, when British explorer Eric Shipton ascended Mount Everest, accompanied by Dr. Michael Ward, they discovered mysterious footprints at an altitude of 6,000 meters above sea level. Shipton placed his ice axe beside the prints and took a photograph, which later became considered convincing evidence of the existence of the Yeti in the Himalayan range. On a day in 1967, at Six Rivers National Forest Park in Northern California, USA, under clear skies, two young men were riding horses along a stream in the forest. They were Roger Patterson, 34 years old, and Bob Gimlin, 36 years old. At around 1 p.m., a strange figure appeared in the distance before them. Startled, they witnessed a creature resembling a Bigfoot covered in thick fur walking deeper into the woods. Their horses were so frightened that Gimlin immediately dismounted, aiming his hunting rifle at the creature. However, Patterson quickly grabbed his camera from the saddlebag and began filming, his hands trembling. All of this happened in less than a minute, but Roger and Bob felt like a century had passed. The following day, the local newspaper headlines read, Mrs. Bigfoot is filmed. Roger and Bob became famous for the one-minute-long video filmed by Roger using a 16mm camera, widely known as the Patterson-Gimlin film. The name of the large-footed creature is Sasquatch, sometimes directly referred to as Bigfoot. Legends and stories about them are scattered all over the world, such as the large grey man in the UK, the Yeti in the Himalayas, and the Yowie in Australia. In the 1980s, American writer John Green authored a book titled On the Trail of Bigfoot. In the book, he listed 1,340 reported sightings of the elusive creature known as Bigfoot, spanning from the 19th to the 20th century. Despite the absence of convincing evidence for the existence of Bigfoot to this day, in 2014, a Washington Post report indicated that 20% of adult Americans believed in the existence of this wild creature. In 2022, a Canadian internet user caused a sensation by claiming to have captured evidence of Bigfoot's existence in a video. The content of the video sparked heated online debates, and the course of events seemed to defy everyone's expectations. Welcome back to Recom Facts today, as we discuss the sensational and controversial event of witnessing the giant creature, Andrew Dawson. Andrew Dawson, born in 1987 and living in Canada, gained prominence on TikTok in July 2021. With the rise of TikTok, Andrew began sharing daily life videos on the platform. His videos featured his beloved pet dog, his beautiful girlfriend, and his daughter, along with their daily meals. Despite the warm and cozy content, his viewership remained relatively modest. However, on April 9, 2022, Andrew unintentionally captured a video that would change his TikTok channel and even the course of his life. While driving with a friend on a mountainous road, he suddenly spotted something peculiar on a snowy peak beside the highway. He grabbed his phone and recorded the strange sight, telling his friend that the figure on the mountain was a person. It was clearly a person, although his friend was skeptical due to the sheer size of the figure. After Andrew uploaded the video to TikTok, it quickly garnered millions of views, causing a social media frenzy. On April 11th, Andrew posted another video, announcing his intention to return to the same location to get a closer and better angle of the mysterious figure on the mountain. He also responded to online users, saying that if necessary, he would borrow a helicopter to fly up there. When Andrew returned to the mountain, he found that the figure on the mountain had disappeared. He inquired with the local residents, who told him that the strange figure had suddenly appeared and disappeared. This left Andrew bewildered as he couldn't understand what had happened. On April 12th, Andrew uploaded a new video, explaining that he had planned to investigate further in the mountains, but was intercepted by individuals who seemed to be CIA agents. They warned him that this path was off-limits and that any attempt to enter would be considered illegal trespassing. The day after returning to the mountain, Andrew didn't spot the giant figure again. Instead, he filmed an unidentified, luminous object hovering above the mountain's peak. In terms of both shape and color, 
it didn't resemble a human-made aircraft. What was even stranger was that Andrew also captured two helicopters, one of which appeared to be lifting a large object from the mountain summit. Could this large object be the same giant figure that Andrew had previously recorded? Three days later, an even stranger incident occurred while Andrew was resting at home. He noticed that he seemed to be under surveillance by a black car parked in front of his house. When he went outside to inquire, the car quickly drove away. Upon closer inspection, Andrew realized that this was the same car that appeared to belong to the CIA agents who had intercepted him earlier. At this point, it's hard to draw any conclusions about this event. Whatever your perception of it may be, it's important not to jump to conclusions because the next part of the story introduces many unexpected twists. Following the surveillance incident, Andrew remained inactive for about a month, leaving TikTok users buzzing with speculation about what had happened to him. Some suggested that he was being silenced by the authorities, while others believed he had been kidnapped. On May 7th, after several days of no updates, Andrew uploaded a video with the title, Official Update. In the video, he stated that he hadn't disappeared or died, but had simply been too busy with life to upload new videos. Andrew also apologized to his fans, admitting that all the previous videos he had uploaded were solely for the purpose of garnering views and were intentionally fabricated. However, what was strange about this video was that while speaking, Andrew's eyes constantly shifted to the left, giving the impression that someone was standing beside the camera, possibly forcing him to record this message. All of Andrew's previous videos were clearly self-recorded, but in the May 7th update video, his hands were in his pockets, indicating that the camera was either fixed or being operated by someone else. Rather than diminishing curiosity, this video only fueled more speculation and discussion among internet users, making the situation even more intriguing. Ten days later, on May 17th, there was a significant development in the situation. Andrew uploaded another video with a description that included a sentence like this. Too much has happened, and I can't be forced to be silent. The video was very short, but packed with information. Andrew appeared frantic as he walked through a dark room, occasionally looking behind him while muttering. He said, You probably won't see my videos anymore. My previous videos were not fake. Within the span of a month, he had captured footage of a giant figure on the mountain, a UFO, a sudden appearance of a military device, and even mysterious individuals surveilling him in front of his house. All of these supernatural events left people curious about why they were occurring. Just when it seemed that the story had reached its conclusion, a horrifying development occurred on July 1st, 2022. Internet users searching for information about Andrew stumbled upon an announcement on a Canadian platform stating his date of death as July 1st. However, the announcement did not specify the exact cause of death only mentioning his family relationships and the fact that Andrew's statement, you probably won't see my videos anymore, had become a reality. Andrew's death added even more mystery to the already perplexing situation. Previously, there were skeptics who suspected that everything Andrew did was solely for views. However, his sudden and untimely death undoubtedly dispelled many of these doubts. After all, the view count on videos means little for someone who has passed away. The event where Andrew claimed to have seen a giant figure became one of the most widely discussed topics on Western Internet in 2022. Internet users' attitudes toward this event were essentially divided into two camps. On one side, supporters believed that everything Andrew captured was real, and he knew something he shouldn't have leading to his elimination. On the other side, skeptics argued that this was an elaborate self-stage prank and Andrew deserved an Oscar for his outstanding acting. Let's now analyze the first video that Andrew uploaded, the one featuring the giant figure, to dissect the perspectives of these two camps. Some individuals noticed that the mountain Andrew filmed was Mount Canoe on top of Mount Canoe, which had a signal tower. 
Those opposing the theory were skeptical and claimed that what Andrew captured was not a giant figure, but the signal tower itself. They questioned why the tower wasn't visible in subsequent videos. However, those in favor argued that the angles in the videos from April 9th and April 12th were identical, focusing on the same corner of the mountain, yet the object resembling a giant figure was missing in the later video. This led them to believe that the object was indeed a living entity. Regarding the unidentified luminous object in Andrew's videos, the opposition claimed it was merely smoke left by a jet engine, and the golden color was due to the sunrise and sunlight reflecting off the smoke. However, supporters found this explanation unconvincing, as smoke from jet engines is typically thin and elongated, while the unidentified object in Andrew's videos appeared short and less linear. Lastly, concerning the helicopter lifting a large object from the mountaintop, Skeptics argued that it was a common practice in the United States for helicopters to carry out tree removal operations. However, those in agreement with Andrew's account found this explanation to be forced and unconvincing. The most crucial piece of evidence was the message dated May 13, 2022, just before Andrew stopped updating TikTok, which added an extra layer of complexity to the already baffling situation. Film producer Tony Merkel once contacted Andrew on Instagram and wanted to invite him to join his podcast to discuss Andrew's videos about the giant figure. However, Andrew didn't use Instagram, and it wasn't until June 23rd that he finally responded to Tony's message. He told Tony that the videos were fake, all of it was fake, and asked Tony if he had seen anything. Tony sent Andrew a link to the video where Andrew captured the giant figure on the mountain and told him that this was the video he was interested in. In the end, Andrew messaged Tony again saying, I can't say anything, nothing's happened. You shouldn't message me, take care. A week later, internet users discovered the announcement of Andrew's passing. If everything Andrew did was just to attract attention and views, then the film producer Tony's invitation to him must have been very enticing. However, Andrew chose to declean and didn't provide any more information to Tony. This has added a layer of authenticity to the videos. It's unclear what people think about this event. Thank you for watching this video. If you'd like, you can subscribe to watch our future videos. Or if you have time, you can check out other videos from Recom Facts. For now, goodbye and see you again.